Hi, this is Ravi from Informatica Global Customer Support and the presentation is on Pass Enter XML Views. The agenda of the presentation would be Understanding Pass Enter XML Views Editing the existing XML Views Creating new XML Views in an XML Editor adding columns to the created XML views and creating relationships across the XML views. We'll also have a look at the rules and guidelines that follow XML editing. Power Center XML views essentially are the data sets defined in an XML structure. So essentially when an XML definition is created Power Center XML views along with the relationships that exist between the same are created for XML processing. Let's have a look at how to edit the generated pass into XML views. This is an XML source definition created from an XML schema file. Right clicking the same and selecting edit XML definition would take us to the XML editor with all the XML elements enlisted on the left hand side and the XML views on the right hand side. It is quite likely that all the XML views generated are required for an XML processing. For example, the, the root view in this case does not have any simple type element and hence might not be required to be present as an XML view. So I would rather right click it and delete this XML view for my XML processing. The other operations that can be done in an XML editor would include deleting existing elements. For example, last time might not be required and hence might be deleted from the XML view. Another operation would, would, would be to define an existing element as a primary key. For example, the XP XPK employee here is a primary key for this particular view and I would want to define first name instead as the primary key so I would just select the same and set it as a primary key to have it as a primary key instead as observed the auto generated primary key XPK underscore employee is now removed from the XML view. We have seen how to edit an XML view. The next element is to create an XML view and add required columns to the same. Now that we de deleted few XML views, we might want to read recreate them to be able to read data. For demonstrating the same let's delete this existing employee XML view so that we can attempt to recreate it. Now that de we deleted this XML view let's create a new XML view. Click on the XML views of the XML editor and select the option create XML view which would define an empty XML view. Required elements can be added to the same to take this forward. The selected or the highlighted element is the element under consideration which contains required elements to be added to this particular XML view. Right click the same and go to the expat navigator to be able to see the hierarchy view of the element. 
select multiple elements using the control keyboard key subsequently can be dragged and dropped into the XML view to be able to add them to the XML view we have been able to successfully add few XML elements to a newly created XML view the next step would be to see how to create relationships across the XML views for this purpose we'll create another view let's add a multiple occurring element to it to be able to create a relationship email for example here is a child element of employee but since it's a multiple occurring element we can have email as a separate group so, so let's go ahead and add it to the newly created group by dragging and dropping into the same now we have an XML view called employee with the employee details and another group which enlists the email to create a relationship across these two views select the child element click on XML views and say create relationship from the XML view and select the parent element to be able to relate it to the same we can now see that a relationship has been created across the two XML views the relationship got created because the email is actually related to the employee element now that we have seen how to edit create and manipulate the XML views let's have a look at the rules and the guidelines for doing the same a power center XML definition can have up to 400 views otherwise the XML editor will not be opened a view can have only one primary key so if you define another element in the XML view to be a primary key it will override the existing element uh, and and become as a new primary key if the if the, if the existing primary key is an auto generated primary key it would be removed from the XML view a column cannot be both a primary key as well as a foreign key for a given XML view a view in the target definition requires at least one key as an XML doc document has to be generated at the end of the session run the same is not true for an XML source definition as the, the purpose with an XML source definition is just to read the data an enclosure element or a complex type element cannot be either a primary key or a foreign key a foreign key always refers to a primary key from a different group now that we have discussed the rules and the guidelines based on which the XML views have to be modified we come to an end of this presentation we would love to hear from you please feel free to post your feedback at the mentioned locations thank you have a great day